I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I did all my training in Sydney. I did my medical degree at the University of Sydney. I also did a Bachelor of Arts while I was studying medicine. Once I completed my plastic and reconstructive surgery training in Australia, I went to Oxford for a year. I was an advanced trainee in Oxford, which was obviously a huge honour, and I learnt a lot while I was there. I'm now a clinical senior lecturer at the University of Sydney, and I'm also affiliated with the University of New South Wales. I've been in practice now in Sydney for 10 years. My main practice is located in Sydney South, and I operate out of Cogra and also in the Sutherland Shire. In terms of my paediatric practice, one day a week I operate on children at the Children's Hospital at Westmead where I'm a, a paediatric craniofacial surgeon. In terms of cosmetic or aesthetic surgery, I do the whole gamut of facial plastic surgery, rhinoplasty, facelift, eyelid surgery, prominent ear correction or otoplasty, and then there are body contouring procedures such as breast reduction, breast augmentation, breast lift with implants, abdominoplasty and uh, liposuction as well. As a qualified plastic and reconstructive surgeon, that means I'm a fellow of the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons. I'm also a member of the Australian Society of Plastic Surgeons, the Australian Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons, and the International Society of Plastic Surgeons. I'm also a consultant craniofacial surgeon, and so I'm a member of the Australian New Zealand Society of Cranio Maxillofacial Surgeons. What I like about plastic surgery is that you're using all of your knowledge to solve a particular problem, whether it's a cosmetic problem or a functional reconstructive problem. I became a plastic surgeon because I want to make a difference in people's lives. There may be someone who, for example, has always been unhappy with some sort of facial feature, and they think, if I could just get this corrected, it would improve my outlook on life. It would make me happier. And so my goal is to try to do that in a way that is going to make them happy. Every year I travel to Samoa with Interplast and while I'm there I perform surgery mainly on children with cleft lip and palates. I also perform burn surgery there on children who otherwise would not have specialist plastic surgery treatment because there are no plastic surgeons in Samoa. I'm a clinical senior lecturer at the University of Sydney and um, that involves teaching, training doctors about plastic surgery and assisting them in their journey to become fully qualified plastic surgeons. I do a lot of surgical education. One of the things I run is a journal club for all the plastic and surgery trainees in Sydney. This keeps me up to date and allows me to give my patients the latest and greatest treatments. I do my best to understand what the patient is looking for. I then tell the patient what I can deliver and make sure that those two things are the same. And if they're the same, that person is a good candidate for surgery. It's important to me that I treat all patients ethically and that I guide patients in terms of what is best for them and not just simply trying to sell them a procedure that they may not want or need.